Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Don't take anything personally. Transform your life. When you refuse to take things personally, you avoid many upsets in your life. Your feeling of anger, jealousy, and even sadness will simply disappear if you don't take them personally. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 44, NASDAQ down 7, SP's up 3.5, gold contract up four down $4.20, trading at 1726 an ounce. We have silver down 34 cents, $20.75 an ounce, light sweet crude up $1.40, $87.93 a barrel, notes and bonds. You get the 10 year note. Down 30 ticks, trading 118.12. You get the 30 year up almost two points, one point plus 26 ticks, trading at a price point of 120. Where are you? There we go. Uh, 126.27. And that 10 year right now, folks, is yielding a uh, 3.753. And King Dollar. King Dollar's up 1,025 ticks, trading 111.09. The Euro's at 98. The yen is trading at a price point of 144, and the British pound is at 113 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. I want to know what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, let's go over to the SPY first. So we take a look at the SPY. What you had out here today, nice volatile market, no doubt. Bottom line, you pull back on the SPY. Uh, well, here, let, let me show you intraday first. You know, as soon as, we, as soon as we open the market up here, bottom line, you sold right down. Nothing heavy, but you get into the gap. You know, the gap from yesterday on the way up. Get, the SPY got down to a price point of that 370. Uh, you're 378 right now. Now, we take this and we're going to put this on a, just a daily. Um, you know, bottom line is that now what you're going to have is that you're over this high and you're not going to, you know, yes, we just, we're at 60 million shares. Now, the 60 million folks is coming into, let me do this this way. So I want to show you how. Okay, so you got, here's ice. Okay, the first line is ice. The, where, there's two of them. Now we do this one right here. The red line, if you when you're watching Tiger TV, that low there, okay, the low of that bar, it was, that's a big, wide-ranging bar on the way down. That is 377.38, okay? Well, we're into that bar. We got into it by 378.54. That's 106 million shares, okay? So yesterday, what do we do? We go up into that bar with 103 million. Well, today, you're going to be over that bar, well, we're over the bar right now. The real question is where it's going to close. And you have another contraction. That's just telling you already that the buying is drying up. So we hit today the 378.540. And this is going to be um, subtle. But the bottom line is that if we end up closing under the 380 mark, under the high of yesterday. That's saying that guess what? You know, you're going to basically go right back down to the low because that low is a high volume low, which is the 357.18 right now. That's in your SPY. Now, the NQs, which are the weaker indices, they almost, okay, had a chance to basically really get to a higher price, meaning not today. Because what happened is that they were lower, they were filling the gap, the, the top of the gap was 275.16, we hit 275.42. It would have been a down day with light volume because the Qs, also the high of yesterday in the Qs was 282.85 and we broke it. The problem, of course, is they're going to be the same type of setup, meaning that you're going to go to a higher high and you're going to have a contraction of volume. And the low, same bar, the bar that we're talking about where we came down hard and fast was September 21st. So that low there inside the queues is 283.42. Well, we went to 282.92. So we haven't even made it yet. What happens when you don't make it? Well, you want to know what the high is of yesterday. The high of yesterday was 282.85. And we got over it. So the real kicker here, if you're looking for higher price, 
what you're looking for is the Qs to also close over 282.85. Now, that's real easy to do because we're at 282.60. You're not going to have the volume. So we'll see how this whole thing shakes out coming into the close. If we look at the gold contract. Gold contract's operating correctly. And, this, you know, this is, a, this is a deal that is probably pretty good for the bulls, too, because the gold markets are going with the broad market. That's, that's the reality, okay? When, when they go up, like when we had the bounce, all these gold stocks certainly went up a lot further than the regular, you know, uh, broad S&P stocks and NASDAQ stocks. The, the gold stocks went up 9 to about 12 percent. These, you know, the, the, the equities went up 3 to 4 percent. Anyway, to make a long story short, what you had out here is this. You had the gold market pull back to 1708 today. You did 162,000 contracts. And I believe that we did 195,000 yesterday. Let me just see this. 205,000 yesterday, which is great. So it rejected lower price. You had lighter volume. That's setting up for higher price. And of course, the whole wild card, once again, is going to be uh, the bottom line, the dollar. You know, the dollar uh, bottom line took off like a rocket ship today. You know, we'll see whether it can get any strength. Um, if we go over to the oil market, we take a look at oil. The oil stocks, no doubt, are moving out here today. Um, let's see. Give me that active contract. There we go. Okay, so we're up at dollar thirty-seven. You are trading three hundred and five thousand contracts. That's not bad contract volume. Yeah, the last swing point, uh, eighty-nine sixty-three had uh, two hundred and eight. So that's saying it wants to make that that uh, that swing. We'll see how that baby shakes out. But that is saying that it wants to go after that swing out here. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. We have the Dow. Dow Industrial is up 95. NASDAQ is up 10. S&Ps are trading up uh, 9. Uh, gold right now uh, down 4. Uh, bottom line, did a nice uh, lot of volatility out here today. Some of the higher volume equities, and this is going to be a low volume market out here today. You have Tesla uh, down 8 bucks. We have, uh, that's the, the Twitter deals back on again. Uh, Exxon Mobil, it's got a big bit out there, up 448. We have, uh, let's see, American Airlines Flax, Occidental's up a buck 87. You got uh, Schlumberger up 263. Stay right there, folks, come right back.